Right, I've got my uh, little jewel thief circuit here that uh, I've broken into one of the legs on the LED. So it's uh, connected at second, but we can uh, branch into that in a minute. Now, uh, the connectors I'm using for this uh, little 1.5 button cell are little magnetic ones. So I'm just going to flip that towards it now. And you can see that the uh, LED is very bright there. And that's just off the uh, just an ordinary watch battery. Now, uh, something else I thought was interesting was if I was to disconnect that now and then put my multimeter across it. You'll see that we're getting 26.88 volts off that 1.5 volt battery and the LED is still lighting up ever so slightly. Now I was thinking you could possibly charge another cell well, I'm just going to uh, hook this up in a second, which is a uh, it's a quarter size AAA, but not rechargeable battery. Now I'm going to measure the voltage across it, and then uh, put it through the circuit and see if it charges. I'll do that now. To meet across this battery, and if I can just show you, at the moment we've got. 1.059 volts across it. And I'm just going to attach it up and then see if we can uh, get the uh, 13 volts that we meant to out of uh, one of these little batteries. We've got now, so uh, everything's connected apart from the wire coming off the dual thief there to the incoming to the battery. Now, so what you'll notice is you get. 24.7 ish volts across there and if you come down to the blue LED you'll notice that it's lit it's not as bright as before but uh, still definitely lit nevertheless and let's look at the uh, figures there you can see that the voltage is coming down and it's hopefully Pushing some charge into this uh, small rechargeable. So I'm going to uh, leave that for five minutes and let's see how much charge we can get in it. Right, I can see it's just about to drop now to about 23 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it and then uh, see what kind of uh, voltage gain we've had on uh, this little NICAD there. Right, so disconnect that and disconnect the battery. Right, so we got uh, nothing across it now. And if I just pull this down now so it's directly across the battery. We've now got 1.086 volts across it. So we definitely have had charge. Plus we were running the uh, little LED. I think this warrants a lot more investigation. Like the, uh, in my mind it's exactly the same as the, uh, the Bedini circuit but it's self oscillating. And instead of having a uh, a rotor to drive, it's uh, just got an LED. That's great then. Good to show you that uh, that's the voltage still on this battery, and when you hook up this battery again, we're still getting that very nice bright blue light. It's dazzling that. That's great then.